The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. Aaron Masters, who, who lives in Dartmouth, was going through the, the frustration recently that's involved with trying to get a place to live in the current uh, so super tight uh, rental market, and she tweeted this, which I'll table. Getting a rental in HRM is like playing Jumanji. And the video here is a stampede of rhinoceroses. Uh, then, quote, a place I just applied for had 150 plus applications and people offered rent above asking, which was 1,200. They raised the rental price to help the selection process, all caps. What is happening here? When does this end? Well, I think, Mr. Speaker, I know the answer to the first question. What's happening is a, is a housing crisis driven by a lack of investment in affordable housing. But Aaron's second question is one that deserves the Premier's answer. What is his government doing to end this? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the, the question on an important topic, Mr. Speaker. We do have a substantial investment, the largest in our history in this province over the next nine years. We'll be spending half a billion dollars for our housing stock to contribute uh, to supply. The main issue is supply, Mr. Speaker. Our population growth has continued to sir, go past expectations, Mr. Speaker. When we came into government, uh, it was roughly 940,000. Now we're approaching 980,000 on our way to a million, Mr. Speaker. That's a positive thing, but we need to make sure that we're working on making sure that we do have supply in the market, both market-oriented units, incentivizing uh, people to build in this in this province, Mr. Speaker. The municipalities have a role, Mr. Speaker. We need to work with nonprofits, and we do have a housing commission that's putting together recommendations, and we're eagerly waiting those recommendations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The honourable leader of the New Democratic Party, Mr. Speaker, for women experiencing domestic violence, the availability of safe, affordable housing is key to being able to make a plan for leaving. But organizations who help women find safe places to live are speaking repeatedly about how finding any market rental apartments or housing stock is becoming very, very difficult. Advocates from the YWCA, Alice House, the Transition House Association, all are speaking to this problem. I'll tell, uh, table it in the document about where they've done that. Mr. Speaker, understanding that the absence of available housing puts women in a situation of having to choose between staying in a violent situation or homelessness. Will the Premier tell us how we can justify bringing in a capital plan yesterday which makes no clear investment in social or non-market housing? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to continue to invest in infrastructure across this province at record levels. Housing is part of that, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we eagerly await the recommendations from the Housing Commission uh, that has those represent representatives from nonprofit groups that advocate on behalf of shelters and other uh, housing initiatives, Mr. Speaker. So it is a priority for this government. Uh, we have put housing uh, with infrastructure together, one department. I look forward to that work and in the investments that are forthcoming. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democrat. Party. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the Premier will perhaps recall the recent extreme case of landlord overreach that took place on North Street in the constituency I serve, where a tenant, in the midst of exercising his right to appeal an eviction, experienced the landlord trying to evict him, first by a flood and then when he left the apartment for a couple hours uh, by an excavator. Now, this is the kind of thing that happens, Mr. Speaker, when an extremely short supply of available apartments makes some landlords feel emboldened. So does the Premier understand that his government's failure to create affordable housing has increased the vulnerability of tenants across the board across the province? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and there's a lot more work to do in housing, Mr. Speaker. We need to continue to look at how we can invest, how we can enable investment, Mr. Speaker, working with municipalities and nonprofits across this province. Uh, we do have targeted uh, spending alongside the, the federal government with the 50% uh, percent cost share program. Uh, we have rental caps in place uh, so that we don't have the issue of uh, what I think are unreasonable rent increases, Mr. Speaker. So that's going to continue to be in place until we get those recommendations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 